Last week, we spoke about the soul journey and we talked about the soul contract. Well, I'd love to give you a beautiful tool this week on how to access your soul. And I call this intuitive painting. And let me tell you that in my soul contract, it's not only about healing, but it's about art. So by really bringing the art and healing together, I designed, and that is part of my responsibility to the world, the beautiful process of intuitive painting. So what you're going to need to get started is you can have any kind of paints to work with and water-based paints are easier to work with because what you'll need is some water in a container. You'll also need to have water-based paint that will include watercolors. It can also include acrylic paints as well and there are many, many different colors you can get. You'll also need a variety of brushes and a palette. You can get a plastic palette, a wooden palette, or if you need to put something together at home and you don't have a palette, you could always take a piece of aluminum foil and fold it like a palette and put it in a square rectangular form so you can put your dabs of paint on it. And as far as paper goes, they have something called canvas paper, and that's what's being used in this demonstration today. Or you can actually get a regular canvas or just regular paper. All of those are fine. The most important part of this process, though, is that you will be doing this process in silence and the main point of it is that you're tapping in to this very important part of you, your intuition. So the first question that I ask is which of the colors call to you? And you will go ahead and pick the colors. You'll then put it on your palette and then you're gonna begin painting. You're gonna dip it in water and go ahead now and lay it down on the canvas or paper. And as you see in this demonstration, the client is just allowing her brush to take over here. It's a very free process. You really tune your mind out. You open up your heart and just allow your brush to take over. One of the things that happens in intuitive painting, there are a lot of symbols that do start showing up that have pretty significant meaning. So this client has chosen to begin and her first color is orange. At any time you can go ahead and change your brush if you're called to a different one. Once again, dipping it in water allows easier flexibility for you. As I said to you before, don't be surprised what symbols show up as you're doing this process. And remember, there's no right or wrong. Anything that gets revealed is just perfect. In my next episode of Intuitive Painting, we will be able to watch a beautiful piece of healing art revealed.